you get all over my bed every time I make it. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. You might be a little confused because I'm doing my makeup in my bedroom. Um, I need to show you this setup because I started doing this. I'm just like, I'm trying to make sure that I have the best quality possible when it comes to content. And, and it's low key embarrassing because I've been doing this for so long. Like for me to upload a video and the like, quality be bad, my worst nightmare. So I made this makeshift vanity and I got these new lights. I'm obsessed. I'll give you a little vanity tour. This is obviously just for like filming and stuff, but my makeup was here from yesterday because we did some filming here. Um, so I haven't cleaned it up. So I was like, might as well do my makeup here today. This is the setup we got going on. Does it not look so, you know, professional? I mean, the, the ladder with the two Clorox uh, wipes as my tripod slay. But this acrylic table, I think I got this from CB2 forever ago maybe it was amazon i think it was cb2 though but i know they have them like so many places this was downstairs in the entry for the longest time but the star of the show are these new lights i got these off of amazon they're by the brand newer i got two of them and i really love the fact that you can put batteries in it and you won't have to plug it in or you can plug it in so you don't have to always constantly worry about charging the batteries but i like how there's the option you guys know i've gone through so much equipment and ring lights and all of that stuff for just making videos and everything. These are two of my favorite. They are so soft on your skin. I'll have them linked below if I can find my affiliate links or just regular links. What I love the most is it doesn't make me, it doesn't give me headaches because sometimes certain lights are just so bright when you're, you know, on them for so long. So anyways, that's my current little setup we got going on. Today I have a few like sponsorships I need to film as well as Rem and I are going to an event tonight movie on the rooftop thing, which is gonna be super fun and cute. I woke up with a zit on my face. I mean, what else is new? <laughs> also, I've really been struggling with getting, well, not struggling, it's just, well, maybe struggling. I've been trying to get back into a healthy routine, including training. I didn't see my trainer for like two months and I went the other day and I felt so nauseous afterwards. I was like, oh, I'm out of shape. So I'm seeing him later, which I'm excited for, but just trying to get back into the swing of that. I mean, I've talked about this, but I fluctuate in my weight so much that it's very, very frustrating. But as I've gotten older, I realize that's not gonna change. This is how my body is. So I kind of have to accept it. We may have put on a little weight, but we are sexy as is, you know? We're still hot and sexy, but I'll bring you guys to that. Cause I'll, I always do better when there's a camera on me. I swear, like if there is a camera on me and I'm doing a workout, I will give it 120 million percent. I will just do so much better versus if there's not, it's actually like a joke my trainer and I have because it's so true. Car was out of gas. I'm so sorry. We're back home, obviously. I officially think I've found the perfect vlog camera and we gotta talk about it. Sony actually sent me a loaner. The fact that they know who I am, insane. I've been testing it out and I always like testing things before I actually refer them to you guys, especially when it comes to like expensive equipment like this. One of the number one questions I get is what vlog camera do you recommend, do you use? And if you're looking to upgrade your content and invest in a camera, this is the one I highly recommend, the ZV-E1. They actually sent me two. So the one I'm filming on is also the same one. So you can tell how the quality is so good. It's like pristine. It actually uses AI tracking for face tracking. So that way you never have to worry about being out of frame or if you don't have like a camera guy behind the camera. You don't have to worry if you're out of focus. I feel like that's happened to me way too many times over the years. My other favorite part is there's this little toggle switch up here where you can switch between camera modes so easily from the actual like photography camera, video, and then S and Q so you can get dope slow-mo shots. Honestly, I think the other biggest thing that wowed me was the fact that you can have mic settings and you can decide which direction you want it to be, whether it's auto, all around, etc. Like that's a huge, huge, huge upgrade. And it even comes with this little wind filter that you can put on top of of the mic so that way it blocks out noise like i said they gifted me a camera to loan um they're not paying me to say this i'm genuinely just so excited and i really feel like this is a dope camera if you're interested i've gotten that question so many freaking times so if you're interested i'll have a link below if not don't worry let's uh continue on with the vlog and thank you so much sony for sending this to me because i love it <laughs> um all right i needed to update my computer does anyone else hate when you have to update your computer because it wouldn't open a library on my hard drive that I was trying to edit and then it was, oh, now it says an hour. We made 
get it. All right. Don't kill me. What fun is that? <laughs> I was telling them earlier how anytime there's a camera on me, I just do so much better. <laughs> right? Switch leg. We're just talking about Vanderpump rules. It's the best. I bought a coloring book. <laughs> no, you, I'm going to get you merch for your birthday. It's coming up. <laughs> I need to order it now before I forget. <laughs> Okay, so allegedly Sheena called Ariana and said, I'm on Raquel's phone now, but I'm throwing it in the gutter and I'm going to call you back from mine and pushed Raquel. What? Raquel is claiming punch, but then Sheena holds up her nails and goes, I can't make a fist. Look no, at my can't. cashier girl nails. He really right? can't with those nails. Then it was a whole thing. Restraining order gets filed. I need 15! Oh god, one! Oh my god. Yeah! I was shaking. That shit's awesome. <laughs> okay, so Raquel spanning Sandoval twice in Mexico at Sheena's wedding with Ariana there. No. Not in the room, Avi, but. Oh my god. Now, Raquel also makes out with Schwartz at the wedding. Thanks, B Rad. Props. Woo! Bye! <laughs> All right, we are on our way home. We are listening to Beyonce. My night actually cleared up. I was supposed to have a call right now, too, and it got canceled, so I'm like, Hell yeah. This morning when I was doing my makeup, I ran out of my contour stick, so I think I'm gonna swing by Sephora on the way home. Um, Cause we need that. Of course, I literally came in for one thing, and um, we got a lot. But you know what? I'm actually really excited to try everything. Forgot how um, embarrassing it can be to vlog in public alone. All right, I thought I had an event tonight, um, but Remy needed to cancel. So that's the only reason why I literally had makeup on for my workout because I thought I was gonna go straight there afterwards. But it reminds me of time about like four or five years ago when I was like obsessed with this guy at the gym. So I always would put makeup on every single time I worked out. Um, yeah, clearly that, nothing happened there. But like I said, I needed uh, literally one thing. I needed one thing from Sephora and this is what we ended up getting. So I figured I would do a little haul for you guys because because why not? So I needed a new contour stick. I got the rare beauty ones. I got the one in a bright side, which is a new shade, I believe, and then happy soul. I've heard wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things about these and I'm really excited to try them out. So being an influencer sometimes can be weird because like obviously, like I don't know if this is interesting. Obviously brands will send me PR and even rare has sent me PR. And then when you meet the people who work behind the brand, they're like, oh my God, if you ever need anything, let us know, we'll send it to you. I still feel so weird being like, Hi, do you mind sending me like this product? I don't know why I do, but I do. So to me, I'm like, it's fine. Like, no, I can buy, I can buy the product. Like, it's totally fine. I know that's something I need to get over because the brands always say that. Like, so if you're a creator, I would be like, oh my God, no, ask them. They mean it. Like, they seriously do mean it. Like, let us know. But like, I still feel so bad. I was out of a makeup cleanser and you guys know I love the pharmacy melting cleansing balm. They have this like limited edition strawberry flavor, flavor scent, don't eat it. And then I also got a little travel size one. Um, because I'm jet setting again. So I wanted to get some travel size products too because I ran out um, my living proof hair products. You guys know I'm obsessed. So we got the hairspray, the advanced clean dry shampoo and the dry volume texture spray. Y'all know I'm obsessed with living proof. The travel size products make it so much easier for making sure your bag is underweight. I did get a new beauty blender. I have one sponge, but I'm like, I've been using it for about two months ish and you're supposed to get rid of it every three months. So we got that. They gave me all of these samples for free, which was so sweet. So I'm gonna look through and see if there's any that I can take with me on my trip. We got summer Fridays. Oh my God, is this a full? Oh no, it's not full. <gasps> 
it's like a tinier, tinier version of the travel one. Oh my God, stoked. Then when I first walked into the store, I saw that Milk came out with a new primer and I love the green one. The Hydro Silk one is like one of my top primers I've probably ever used, but this one had me for two reasons. If it says pore and mattifying, it is in my cart. I'm getting it. So I'm gonna try this tomorrow and see how I like it, but I'm really excited. I just got a little one because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I'm actually really excited to try this out because they have really bomb primers. We got two new lip liners. Um, I'm obsessed with the Anywhere Caffeine one from Makeup Forever. Um, mine's getting low, so I wanted to get a new one. I've been loving a darker lip with my red hair. So I got the shade Universal Earth. The pencil is literally meant for anywhere on your face, which is awesome. The Anywhere Caffeine and the MAC Strip Down are my two top lip liners of all time. Okay, the next thing, this has been viral on TikTok for so long. It's the Dior blush, but I have the orange, like the coral one. They came out with a new shade and this one's in the color Rosewood. Or maybe they didn't. It, it said new, but maybe it wasn't new. Maybe they just never have this one in stock. So I got a new one. I love this blush. I'm gonna be very honest. I thought these were so overhyped at first. I was like, there's no way these blushes are that good. Like, is it just because it's Dior? Why are they trendy? Until I actually tried one, the it's so smoothing, like it blends perfectly. This is in the color Rosewood, if you're wondering, but they had like cherry, like, it literally looks airbrushed. I'm hoping you can see the difference. Honestly, I don't think I've actually used a blush that blends as well. This is crazy. Wow. This is something I've wanted for so long. I was very heavily influenced from TikTok. TikTok made me buy it. I tried it in the store and I was like, oh, it's so good. And I don't wanna smell like every other person on this planet because I know everyone has this, but I get why it's so popular. This is the Glossier perfume. I have heard that this drastically changes with your like scent. So everyone does smell a little different. It smells really good. It also takes a lot for me to try a new perfume because I just, I like my gypsy water a lot. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Um, then the last two things that I got are actually foundation. My top three foundations that I've ever tried. The honestly, number one is the NARS Radiant, natural radiant foundation. I'm wearing that one today. My other two ones that I really like are the uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous one. This I only have in a darker color, so I can't use it when I don't have a tan. And then the Huda Beauty, I have one that's way too light and I have one that's way too dark. And I've tried mixing them, but it's still not the right shade. So I got a new Giorgio Armani one in the color four instead of six. And then this one is shortbread and 200B. Now I'm excited to add this to my foundation collection. These three foundations, especially if you have oily skin, so that was my really large Sephora haul, even though I wasn't planning on it. And I really only went in for one thing, but I wanted to film this haul before I shower because now I don't have any reason to have makeup on and I desperately need to wash my hair. So let me go shower and I'll see you in two seconds. All right, we are showered. I opened up some like packages and stuff <laughs> at dinner. And now I'm just going to be editing this vlog. Um, while I watch some TV. So I guess now is the best time to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you really soon with a new vlog and I love you so much. And yeah, I love you. <laughs> Bye guys.